Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. You should be ashamed of yourself. The video sent powerful message to governors in Nigeria. You should all be ashamed of yourself, most of you. You should be. Hello, everyone. A very warm big thank you to you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. Apple Line Media will keep you up to date. The protest has been for well over a week and um, some governors have not shown decorum at all. They've not, they've not carried themselves in an orderly manner. These are part of the rot that we have in this society that will not allow Nigerians to thrive. These are part of the people who have nothing to offer. And if you look truly seriously, how did they become governors in the first place? Did they really win the election or it was the APC might? Was there something they did? If you look at the antecedent, the Oshun state governor, look at how he became a governor in Oshun state. We know the role that uh, Adam Soshomole played and the likes of them. APC, is it Kogi? Is it even AKT? You see, Lagos, oh, that's nothing to write him about. We know he's the son of uh, Ashiwaju Bola Tinobu, who forcefully removed the former governor because he did not uh, uh, keep to the terms and conditions of the agreement. I mean, these are all knowledge, you know, well-known knowledge to the whole world. You see, you think you are doing something secret. My dear, it's not secret. We all know. We all know about it. You see, these are the people who are not doing well at all. They are rather supporting APC blindly to the grave rather than support the leaders of tomorrow. Whether than, this is an opportunity for you to write your name in the stars to say, you know what, this, are the, this is the role you play to ensure, to facilitate. That's why we can, we cannot forget we can, we can't. Let's carry on and get all the details. You should all be ashamed of yourself. The video sent strong message to governors in Nigeria. Hmm. The famous Nigerian man, musician, who is seen as one of the most successful artists in Africa, has sent a powerful message addressing all the governors in Nigeria. Davido might be a rich musician, but he has really imparted the NSAS protest by his action over the past few days, both physically and on social media, through other celebrities, though other celebrities like, um, like Foz, Don Jazzy, have also joined the protest. For some time now, Davido has supported the NSAS campaign on Twitter. Here is what he had to say concerning the governors in Nigeria. If you are a governor in Nigeria at this time and you can't talk to your citizens and your state without getting booked and crossed with them, you should be ashamed of yourself. If you cannot speak into what is going on peacefully with the people, have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. You should be ashamed of yourself. If you cannot see why they struggle and what they are campaigning for, and speak to them and explain and get into their get into their space and understand what they are coming, where they are coming from and what they are at, you will not. You are not meant to be a governor. Several people have reacted on social media. They have their reactions. You know, uh, as a lot of reactions has come on, saying this is, you know, this is this is quite this is quite unimaginable. You see, so many things that are going on in this country right now. You know, some governors have not even helped. You, some of them go and pay thugs to come and distort the whole answers thing. I don't know what you want to gain from it. The talks come there. They begin to harass the people, you know, carry weapon and what have you. And you that is a talk, hmm, I feel for you. I really do. I really do. You don't have no future, no ambition. You don't know if the hospitals are well and is in order. When your sister, your sister is, is sick, she can have a good hospital to go to. These are the things we are fighting for in this country. You are there allowing yourself to be used by politicians. Shame on you. Shame on you. Go and retrace your step. You are not the son of your father. Shame on you. You are not the son of your father. Because if you are, you will know that this, they call it father's land. And you will do the right thing. And you will make sure that Nigerians, the oppression, stop. Instead of you to contribute your quarter to history, Instead of you to do your quarter, all you are doing, you are there being a tug, allowing yourself to be used because of money to buy marijuana or whatever you take. Be careful. 
If you continue like that, the same person that is using you will be, be the same person to give you up when they want to do a clean up. It's the same person that will tell the police when he has a secret with you. It's the same person that will tell the police, go and kill that one. Why? You are a loose end. Just know, I'm telling you your end. I'm telling you your end. You are a loose end. I will tell the police, go and fish him out. I will, he will not be there. They will beat you mercilessly. And at the end, you know this Nigerian police, that's what we are fighting against. Brutally murder you. Why? You have murdered people. You have to be careful. Don't allow yourself to be used by thugs. They will call you, send you, give you money, go and, uh, go and scatter the peaceful protests. What do you gain from there? What do you gain? Answers, protesters are going peacefully. They are only asking for reform in our police system. The government, government, this and this and this and this is what they should do to enhance better life for Nigerian citizens. Is it too much to ask when they don't know their role? They get there and they lose, uh, they lose uh, tr track of what they should do for Nigerians. They begin to take fat salaries because there is no audits. There is nobody checking corruption in the country. This is why they don't want, they don't want things to, to stop. They, they want the corruption to continue. They want the corruption to continue so that that's where they, that's where, that's how they thrive, that's how they that's how they go, that's how they rule. If corruption stops, how do you want them to continue? How how do you want them to live? They can't live, so corruption has to continue for them to for them to really you know enhance and you know uh, whatever they are doing to themselves. Well, my people, this is happening. Uh, this is what is going on right now. You see, this is uh, Nigeria for you. And uh, we are really praying that God will intervene in the affairs of Nigeria because uh, what is going on is unimaginable, seriously unimaginable, how policemen are brutalizing Nigerians here and there and they feel it is okay and nobody's saying anything, you know. This has gone for far too long. This has gone on for far too long. Um, an end, once upon a time, an end has to come. Uh, we are watching. And we pray that um, God will take control of answers, protesters. The enemy will not uh, come and hijack it and begin to destroy the life of Nigerian youths and citizens. This is unfair. This is seriously unfair. We cannot continue like this and allow and say things are well. What, what, what things are well? Things are not well. They are not well at all. They are not well. They are not well. This is what is going on. This is uh, what is happening. And Buhari is leading to, to, to wrong advice saying that they are going to unleash the army, say they are going to launch a, a operation, operation Crocodile Smile, Crocodile Smile, that's what they are going to launch, to get the NSAS users out of the, out of the road, out of the, uh, to end the, 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 the protest all of a sudden. Well, if you do that, we are, we are watching you. Leave us a comment.